Microsoft Windows, Microsoft Office, the Windows Phone Operating System, the Xbox Live, just a few of the wide range of products or services uh, that Microsoft has. So to get a personalized feel of some of these services or all of these services, you need to have a Microsoft account. So today I'll be showing you how to create a Microsoft account. Welcome to Web Education Video Tutorials. My name is Chris. Uh, to create a Microsoft account, you first of all need to go to any browser and in the address bar just write signup.live.com and hit enter on your keyboard and this should take you to the sign up page for a Microsoft account. So the sign up page for the Microsoft account with the heading create an account looks like this, you should be able to uh, look something like this. So when you're here, you just need to fill in these fields. So I'll be taking you step by step. Just the first place is uh, where you fill in the name. Uh, this name will appear publicly in the Microsoft services you use. It will be seen by your friends, your co-workers, or your family, or any other person who can be able to uh, interact with the Microsoft services. So you need to choose a professional name. Then you put a nickname there. There you go, just like that. Now, in the email section, uh, this is where you have two options. The first option is to use your favorite email address to sign up, maybe Yahoo, Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, or any other existing email services that you're using. You can use that here and continue receiving uh, messages from Microsoft to your own personal uh, email account. Second option is by clicking this link that says uh, get a new email address. Uh, this option allows you to choose or get a new email address from Microsoft uh, where you can choose whether your email extension will be uh, outlook.com or hotmail.com whatever username you're going to use it will be at outlook or at hotmail so that's that's a choice but for this exercise I'll just use my own uh, favorite email address And the next section is next step is where you want to specify the password for your Microsoft account. To help keep your password safe, Microsoft not allow you to create a password that's less than eight characters in length. And remember, Microsoft passwords are case sensitive, like many other passwords. So this is where you select your password. Make sure it's uh, eight characters and above. And you can re-enter the password. And this section allows you to choose your country of residence. Just use this arrow to uh, bring up this list and then scroll all the way until you find uh, your country. And the next section is the birth date. Uh, the birth date will not be displayed publicly without your permission, but it helps Microsoft provide you with things like age appropriate settings across all your Microsoft devices. So it's important to uh, choose an appropriate birth date. You can select your gender and then this section is where most people uh, get it wrong most people don't like providing the phone numbers uh, your phone numbers will not di be displayed publicly in your Microsoft account but phone numbers are very important in keeping your account secure because they can Microsoft will use this to send verification codes to your phone uh, to verify your identity maybe in case your Microsoft account has been compromised or something so it's important to put your to attach or to to include your phone number in your uh, account details so just choose your country use this to choose your country so that uh, Microsoft can be able to pick up the country code and then you can enter your your phone number in uh, that checkbox right there And then you can just enter this capture code so that Microsoft knows that it's a human. And once everything is ready, you can just cross check to make sure there's no red uh, marking. Anything that's red will show you that there's a problem with that particular field. So once you're happy and everything is happy and Microsoft looks happy, just click on the create account button. After a few seconds, Microsoft will present you uh, with a page like this with your basic account information so you can be able to see so now you 
So now you have a Microsoft account. This is the account uh, you'll be using to sign in to the Microsoft services you're going to be using. So that's how you can create a Microsoft account. Thank you for watching. You can ask any question you have in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.